Top 22 Celebs Who Left Fame Behind Welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into the intriguing stories of celebrities who chose to leave the glitz and glamour of fame behind. From iconic child stars to renowned actors, each of these individuals faced unique challenges that led them to step away from the spotlight. Join us as we explore their journeys and discover the personal choices that shaped their lives beyond Hollywood. Michael Shuffling Michael Shuffling, an American actor and model, became a heartthrob in the 1980s with his unforgettable role as Jake Ryan in the 1984 classic Sixteen Candles. Born on December 10, 1960, in Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania, Shuffling grew up in South Jersey before pursuing studies at Temple University in Philadelphia. Initially modeling, his rugged good looks and natural charm quickly caught the attention of Hollywood casting agents. Throughout the 1980s, he appeared in several notable films, including Vision Quest, 1985, and Mermaids, 1990, solidifying his status as an emerging star. However, despite his popularity, Schofling decided to leave Hollywood in the early 1990s. Disillusioned by the lack of quality roles and the competitive nature of the industry, he chose to step away from the limelight at the peak of his fame. Rather than continuing to chase stardom, Schofling pursued a quieter life as a skilled furniture maker. He established a woodworking business in Pennsylvania, where he has been able to channel his creativity in a more personal and fulfilling way. His decision to leave Hollywood while still beloved by fans has added to his mystique making him a symbol of graceful retreat from fame. Now 63 years old, Michael Shuffling remains a fond memory for fans of 1980s cinema, admired for his iconic roles and his decision to prioritize personal happiness over the fleeting nature of Hollywood success. Nikki Blonsky Nikki Blonsky, an American actress and singer, burst into the spotlight with her breakthrough role as Tracy Turnblad in the 2007 musical film, Hairspray. Born on November 9, 1988 in Great Neck, New York, Blonsky's love for performing was evident from an early age. She grew up participating in community theater, where her passion and talent led her to Hollywood. Her performance in Hairspray earned her widespread acclaim, including multiple award nominations, cementing her as a rising star in the industry. Despite the initial success and popularity of Hairspray, Blonsky's career in mainstream Hollywood did not maintain the same momentum. While she continued to act in smaller projects such as Queen Sized, 2008, and Geography Club, 2013, these roles were more low-profile compared to her breakthrough. Blonsky later shifted her focus from acting to other personal pursuits. She became a licensed cosmetologist, pursuing a career in beauty, which allowed her to maintain creativity in a different field. In addition, she has been an outspoken advocate for body positivity and LGBTQ rights, using her platform to support causes she believes in. Today, 35 years old, Nikki Blonsky may have stepped back from the Hollywood spotlight, but she continues to connect with her fans through social media and her advocacy work. Her iconic role as Tracy Turnblad remains beloved, and she has embraced a more diverse journey, both in and out of the entertainment industry. Angus T. Jones Angus T. Jones became a household name as a child actor, best known for his portrayal of Jake Harper on the hit sitcom Two and a Half Men. Born on October 8, 1993, in Austin, Texas, Jones started acting at a young age and landed the role of Jake when he was just nine. His witty and comedic performance as the lovable, wisecracking son quickly earned him widespread recognition. By the time he was 17, Jones had become one of the highest paid child actors on television, making him a prominent figure in Hollywood. However, in 2012, Jones made headlines when he announced his decision to step away from acting, citing religious reasons and discomfort with the show's content. Having joined the Seventh-day Adventist Church, Jones expressed that his values no longer aligned with the material being presented on Two and a Half Men. 
The following year, he left the series and began distancing himself from the entertainment industry. Jones shifted his focus to education and deepened his commitment to his faith, making his decision to prioritize his beliefs over fame a defining moment in his life. While he largely stays out of the public eye, Jones remains an intriguing figure due to his sudden departure from Hollywood at the height of his career. Currently 31 years old, Angus T. Jones continues to be admired for his choice to follow a different path, one guided by his personal convictions rather than the allure of fame. His story serves as a reminder of the power of personal beliefs in shaping one's life decisions. Amanda Bynes Amanda Bynes was one of the most recognizable faces in the late 1990s and early 2000s, thanks to her sharp comedic talent and charming on-screen presence. Born on April 3, 1986, in Thousand Oaks, California, Bynes began her career as a child star on Nickelodeon's All That, where her comedic timing earned her a devoted following. She went on to headline The Amanda Show, solidifying her status as one of the leading teen talents of her generation. Bynes successfully transitioned into film with starring roles in popular movies like What a Girl Wants, 2003, She's the Man, 2006, and Easy A, 2010. Known for her versatility and ability to take on comedic and romantic roles with ease, she became a beloved figure in Hollywood, adored by both critics and audiences. However, at the height of her success, Bynes made the unexpected decision to step away from acting in 2010, citing personal struggles, including mental health and substance abuse issues. Her challenges became highly publicized, leading her to retreat from the public eye for an extended period. In recent years, Bynes has focused on her recovery and personal well-being, pursuing studies in fashion design and seeking a more private life. Presently, 38 years old, Amanda Bynes remains a topic of public interest due to both her past work and her journey toward healing. Although she left Hollywood behind, her legacy as a teen icon endures, and she continues to inspire others with her commitment to personal growth and recovery. Jonathan Taylor Thomas Jonathan Taylor Thomas, born on September 8, 1981 in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, became a household name in the 1990s as a child star. He rose to fame playing Randy Taylor, the witty middle son, on the hit sitcom Home Improvement. His charisma and comedic timing made him a teen idol, adored by audiences across the globe. Beyond television, he voiced the young Simba in Disney's iconic The Lion King, 1994, further cementing his place in pop culture. During the height of his career, Thomas also appeared in popular films such as Tom and Huck, 1995, and Man of the House, 1995, appealing to a wide fan base. However, despite his immense popularity, Thomas made a bold decision to step away from acting in the early 2000s. Prioritizing education over the pressures of Hollywood, he enrolled at Harvard University and later graduated from Columbia University. Unlike many child stars, Jonathan Taylor Thomas successfully maintained a low profile after stepping away from the spotlight. His decision to focus on his studies and personal development rather than pursuing more roles in Hollywood has only added to his mystique. Fans continue to remember him fondly for his contributions to television and film during his youth. At 43 years old, Jonathan Taylor Thomas is admired for charting his own course, opting for a life outside the glitz and glamour of Hollywood while remaining an iconic figure from 1990s television. His choice to pursue education over fame serves as an inspiring testament to the power of personal priorities. Phoebe Cates Phoebe Cates became a defining figure of 1980s cinema, known for her beauty, charm, and memorable performances in iconic films. Born on July 16, 1963, in New York City, Cates first gained widespread recognition for her breakout role in Fast Times at Ridgemont High, 1982. Her portrayal of Linda Barrett, 
particularly in one famous pool scene, became a cultural touchstone, securing her status as an 80s movie icon. Cates followed up her success with roles in other popular films, including Gremlins, 1984, and Drop Dead Fred, 1991, further showcasing her versatility as an actress. Despite her rising fame, Cates made the surprising decision to step away from Hollywood in the mid-1990s. After marrying actor Kevin Kline in 1989, she chose to prioritize her family life and focus on raising their two children. Though her retreat from the film industry left fans wanting more, Cates has remained a beloved figure for those who grew up watching her films. Her quiet decision to leave Hollywood at the height of her popularity has only added to her allure. Today, Cates lives a private life, running her boutique, Blue Tree, in New York City, which reflects her continued passion for creativity in a different form. Currently 61 years old, Phoebe Cates is remembered fondly for her work in the 1980s, and though she left the acting world behind, her legacy as a beloved star of that era continues to resonate with fans. Her decision to prioritize family over fame has made her a symbol of graceful retreat from the spotlight. Steven Siegel Steven Siegel, born on April 10, 1952, in Lansing, Michigan, is an American actor, martial artist, and producer, best known for his action-packed films during the 1980s and 1990s. Siegel's journey to Hollywood began with his mastery of martial arts, particularly Aikido, where he earned a seventh Dan black belt. He became one of the first foreigners to open a dojo in Japan, and his expertise in martial arts eventually caught the attention of filmmakers. Seagull made his acting debut with Above the Law, 1988, a film that showcased his unique style of martial arts and established him as a new action star. His success continued with films like Hard to Kill, 1990, and Under Siege, 1992, solidifying his reputation as a tough guy action hero. His stoic presence, combined with high-octane fight scenes, made him a staple of the genre during that era. However, as the 2000s approached, Seagal's career began to decline. His later films largely shifted to direct-to-video releases and controversies surrounding his personal life, including legal battles and allegations of misconduct, further distanced him from mainstream Hollywood. Despite his fading prominence in film, Seagal remained active in various pursuits, including music and politics, often dividing public opinion with his actions. Now 72 years old, Steven Seagal's career has evolved beyond Hollywood, with his early work still holding a place in action movie history. While no longer the box office draw he once was, his legacy as one of the notable action stars of the 1980s and 1990s remains intact. Shirley Temple Shirley Temple, born on April 23, 1928 in Santa Monica, California, remains one of the most beloved child stars in Hollywood history. Rising to fame during the Great Depression, Temple captivated audiences with her infectious smile, curly hair, and remarkable talent. Her performances in films like Bright Eyes, 1934, and Curly Top, 1935, made her a symbol of hope and joy during challenging times in America, and she quickly became a box office sensation. As Temple transitioned from childhood to adolescence, her career faced challenges, as many child stars do, struggling to maintain the same level of fame. By the early 1950s, Temple decided to step away from acting, realizing her peak in Hollywood was behind her. However, her second act would prove just as impressive. Temple reinvented herself as a public servant, beginning a successful career in diplomacy. She served as the U.S. Ambassador to Ghana, 1974 to 1976, and Czechoslovakia, 1989 to 1992, as well as holding other important roles within the U.S. government. Her dedication to public service showcased a different side of her talents, one focused on making a meaningful impact in the world beyond the silver screen. 
Shirley Temple passed away on February 10, 2014, at the age of 85. Her legacy as a groundbreaking child star and accomplished diplomat remains strong, and she continues to inspire generations with her resilience, versatility, and ability to transition from the entertainment industry to public service gracefully. Temple's story is a testament to how one can redefine success and impact multiple arenas in life. Daniel Day-Lewis Daniel Day-Lewis, born on April 29, 1957, in London, England, is widely regarded as one of the most talented and transformative actors of his generation. Known for his intense method acting, Day-Lewis brought a rare dedication to each role, often fully immersing himself into the character both on and off screen. His career began in the early 1980s, with standout performances in films like My Beautiful Laundrette, 1985, and A Room with a View, 1985, quickly establishing him as a rising star. His portrayal of Christy Brown, a man with cerebral palsy in My Left Foot, 1989, earned him his first Academy Award for Best Actor, solidifying his reputation as a performer willing to go to extraordinary lengths for authenticity. Over the years, Day-Lewis continued to captivate audiences with unforgettable roles in films like The Last of the Mohicans, 1992, Gangs of New York, 2002, and There Will Be Blood, 2007, for which he won his second Oscar. His performance as oil tycoon Daniel Plainview is often hailed as one of the finest in cinema history. Day-Lewis won his third Academy Award for Best Actor for Lincoln, 2012, making him the only male actor to win three Oscars in that category. However, in 2017, after the release of Phantom Thread, he shocked the film world by announcing his retirement from acting, citing a desire for a quieter life and a need to explore other creative avenues. Presently 67 years old, Daniel Day-Lewis remains a towering figure in film history. His decision to retire at the peak of his career has added to his mystique, and while his extraordinary body of work continues to inspire actors and filmmakers, fans still hope for a potential return to the screen. Dylan Sprouse Dylan Sprouse, born on August 4, 1992 in Arezzo, Italy, rose to fame as one half of the dynamic twin duo alongside his brother, Cole Sprouse. The brothers became household names through their roles as Zack and Cody Martin in the popular Disney Channel series The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, 2005-2008, and its spin-off The Sweet Life on Deck, 2008-2011. Their charm and comedic timing made them beloved teen icons during the 2000s, gaining a massive fan base. Despite their success on Disney, Dylan chose a different path after the conclusion of the series. Rather than continuing with acting immediately, he and his brother decided to focus on education. Dylan attended New York University, where he pursued a degree in video game design, showcasing his interest in the creative arts beyond acting. Post-graduation, Dylan explored entrepreneurship, opening All Wise Meadery, a meadery in Brooklyn, New York. His foray into the business world demonstrated his passion for building something outside of the entertainment industry. While he continues to take on selective acting roles, Dylan's life today is a balance of creative ventures, from acting to brewing mead. Today 32 years old, Dylan Sprouse has successfully transitioned from a childhood star to a multifaceted individual with interests spanning beyond Hollywood. His journey highlights a commitment to personal growth and entrepreneurial spirit, proving that there is life beyond the screen, and his enduring fan base continues to support him in all his pursuits. Freddie Prince Jr. Freddie Prince Jr., born on March 8, 1976, in Los Angeles, California, quickly rose to fame in the late 1990s as a teen heartthrob. He became well-known for his roles in iconic romantic comedies such as I Know What You Did Last Summer, 1997, She's All That, 1999, and Scooby-Doo, 2002. 
As the son of the legendary comedian Freddie Prince, who passed away when Freddie Jr. was a young child, he carried on his father's legacy in Hollywood with charm and natural talent. During the height of his career, Prince Jr. became a favorite leading man in romantic comedies and teen movies, gaining a massive fan base. However, by the mid-2000s, he began to step away from acting, seeking to explore new avenues. His interest in cooking became a significant passion, leading him to create a food blog and even author a cookbook. Prince also explored voice acting, contributing to popular animated series and video games, showcasing his versatility as a performer. In addition to his various pursuits, Prince has been married to actress Sarah Michelle Gellar since 2002, a union that has been admired for its longevity in Hollywood. The couple has maintained a relatively private life, focusing on family and personal projects. Now 48 years old, Freddie Prince Jr. may not be as active in front of the camera as he once was, but his enduring charm and versatility continue to resonate with fans. His ability to navigate multiple careers, acting, cooking, voice work, demonstrates his diverse talents, and he remains a beloved figure both on and off the screen. Jack Gleason Jack Gleason, born on May 20, 1992 in Dublin, Ireland, gained international fame for his unforgettable portrayal of the sadistic king Joffrey Baratheon on the critically acclaimed HBO series Game of Thrones. His chilling performance as the villainous young king made him one of the most talked-about characters in the series and earned him widespread recognition. Despite his success, Gleason made the surprising decision to step away from acting shortly after his character's arc concluded in 2014. Having started acting as a child in theater and minor film roles, including a part in Batman Begins 2005, Gleason's portrayal of Joffrey was his breakout role. However, after four seasons on Game of Thrones, he expressed a desire to leave the world of professional acting, stating that the industry no longer brought him joy. Instead, he chose to focus on his education, studying philosophy and theology at Trinity College Dublin, where he pursued a quieter and more intellectual life. Though he left the limelight, Gleason didn't completely abandon his passion for performance. He turned his attention to theater, where he has been involved in smaller independent productions and even founded his own theater company. His decision to prioritize education and personal fulfillment over Hollywood fame has only added to his intrigue among fans. At 32 years old, Jack Gleason remains admired for his ability to walk away from the pressures of celebrity, embracing a life centered on intellectual and creative exploration. His iconic role in Game of Thrones continues to resonate with audiences, while his commitment to personal growth sets him apart from many in the entertainment industry. Mara Wilson Mara Wilson, born on July 24, 1987, in Burbank, California, became one of the most beloved child stars of the 1990s with her heartwarming performances in family classics like Mrs. Doubtfire, 1993, and Matilda, 1996. Her portrayal of Matilda Wormwood, the bright and kind-hearted girl with telekinetic powers, endeared her to audiences and cemented her place in film history as an iconic child actor. Despite her early success, Wilson's experience in the spotlight was not without challenges. As she grew older, she found it difficult to navigate the pressures of fame and began to step away from acting in the early 2000s. Choosing a more private life, she focused on her education, eventually graduating from New York University with a degree in drama. Rather than returning to Hollywood, Wilson embraced her passion for writing, authoring books and contributing to various publications. Her memoir, Where Am I Now? True Stories of Girlhood and Accidental Fame offers a candid look at her life as a former child star and the difficulties of transitioning out of the entertainment industry. She has also been an outspoken advocate for mental health awareness, often speaking openly about her own struggles with anxiety and depression. Currently 37 years old, Mara Wilson continues to inspire others with her personal journey.
While she may have left behind her acting career, her writing, activism, and candid reflections on fame have resonated with many, making her a respected voice beyond the world of Hollywood. Her legacy as a 1990s icon remains strong, but her advocacy for mental health and well-being defines her current chapter. Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen, born on June 13, 1986 in Sherman Oaks, California, became iconic figures in the entertainment industry from a very young age. The twin sisters first captured the hearts of audiences when they shared the role of Michelle Tanner on the beloved sitcom Full House, which aired from 1987 to 1995. Their charm and charisma quickly made them household names, and the success of the show launched a multimedia empire that included films, merchandise, books, and music. As they grew older, the Olsons transitioned from child stars to successful business moguls. They starred in a series of straight-to-DVD films and later ventured into fashion, establishing their luxury brand, The Row, in 2006. Their keen sense of style and business acumen earned them critical acclaim in the fashion world, solidifying their status as influential designers. Despite their fame, Mary-Kate and Ashley made the conscious decision to step back from acting in the early 2000s to focus on their business ventures and personal lives. This choice allowed them to redefine their careers on their own terms, proving that they were more than just former child stars. Today 37 years old, the Olsen twins are celebrated not only for their contributions to entertainment, but also for their impact on the fashion industry. Their ability to successfully transition from the spotlight of Hollywood to the world of high fashion highlights their versatility and talent. While they may no longer be in front of the camera, Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen continue to be influential figures, inspiring many with their entrepreneurial spirit and creativity. Gene Hackman Gene Hackman, born on January 30, 1930 in San Bernardino, California, is a highly acclaimed American actor and novelist, celebrated for his powerful performances across a wide array of film genres. Hackman's acting career began in the 1960s, and he quickly gained recognition for his talent, earning his first Academy Award nomination for his role in Bonnie and Clyde, 1967. His ability to portray complex characters with depth and authenticity set him apart in Hollywood. Throughout the 1970s and 1980s, Hackman solidified his reputation as one of the greatest actors of his generation. He delivered memorable performances in iconic films such as The French Connection, 1971, for which he won his first Oscar for Best Actor, and The Conversation, 1974, showcasing his versatility and range. His roles in Superman, 1978, as Lex Luthor and Unforgiven, 1992, further established him as a cinematic legend, earning him a second Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. Despite his immense success, Hackman chose to retire from acting in 2004 after the release of Welcome to Mooseport, expressing a desire for a quieter life and a passion for writing. He has since published several novels, demonstrating his creativity beyond the silver screen. Presently, 94 years old, Gene Hackman's legacy as one of the greatest actors in film history endures. His body of work continues to inspire both audiences and aspiring actors, and his departure from Hollywood has left fans hoping for a return. Hackman's remarkable career, marked by numerous accolades and unforgettable performances, cements his status as a true icon of American cinema. Rick Moranis Rick Moranis, born on April 18, 1953, in Toronto, Ontario, is a beloved Canadian actor and comedian, best known for his iconic roles in some of the most memorable comedies of the 1980s and 1990s. He first gained prominence on the sketch comedy show SCTV, where his unique sense of humor and versatility quickly made him a standout performer. 
Moranis became a household name with his performances in family-friendly films like Ghostbusters, 1984, where he portrayed the hilarious and bumbling Louis Tully, and Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, 1989, in which he played the eccentric inventor Wayne Selinsky. His ability to blend comedy with heartfelt moments endeared him to audiences, making him one of the most recognizable faces of that era. He also starred in Little Shop of Horrors, 1986, as the sadistic dentist Oren Scrivello, further showcasing his talent for both comedy and music. In the early 1990s, after the tragic passing of his wife, Moranis made the decision to step back from acting to focus on raising his two children. This choice allowed him to prioritize family over fame, leading to a lengthy hiatus from Hollywood. While he occasionally took on voice acting roles, such as in Brother Bear, 2003, Moranis largely remained out of the spotlight for years. Now 71 years old, Rick Moranis is fondly remembered for his contributions to film and comedy. Although he stepped away from the industry, his legacy endures, and in recent years, there have been hints of a potential return to acting, much to the delight of fans who cherish his iconic roles. Moranis's ability to blend humor with warmth continues to resonate, solidifying his status as a cherished figure in pop culture. Frankie Muniz Frankie Muniz, born on November 5, 1985 in Woodridge, New Jersey, is best known for his role as the brilliant yet awkward Malcolm in the hit television series Malcolm in the Middle, which aired from 2000 to 2006. His portrayal of the titular character earned him critical acclaim and several award nominations, establishing him as a prominent young actor in Hollywood. Muniz's unique ability to convey both humor and depth resonated with audiences, making him a beloved figure during the show's run. Following his success on television, Muniz starred in a series of successful films, including Big Fat Liar, 2002, and Agent Cody Banks, 2003, which further showcased his comedic talents and charm. However, despite his rising fame, Muniz made the surprising decision to step away from acting in the mid-2000s. He sought new challenges and pursued a passion for race car driving, participating in various racing events, including the Champ Car World Series. In addition to racing, Muniz explored other ventures, including music and producing. His diverse interests reflect his desire to carve a path beyond the constraints of Hollywood fame. Despite stepping back from the spotlight, he remains active on social media, often sharing glimpses of his life and interests with fans. At 38 years old, Frankie Muniz's legacy as a beloved child star continues to resonate with audiences who grew up watching Malcolm in the Middle. His journey from television success to the world of motorsports highlights his multifaceted talents and determination to pursue a life rich with varied experiences, proving that there is much more to his story than just his early fame in acting. Cary Grant Cary Grant, born Archibald Alec Leach on January 18, 1904, in Bristol, England, is widely regarded as one of the greatest actors in the history of American cinema. With his suave charm, impeccable comedic timing, and striking good looks, Grant became a quintessential leading man during Hollywood's golden age. He began his career in vaudeville before transitioning to film in the 1930s, quickly rising to prominence. Throughout his illustrious career, Grant starred in a number of classic films, including Bringing Up Baby, 1938, Notorious, 1946, and North by Northwest, 1959, showcasing his versatility in both comedy and drama. His collaborations with renowned directors such as Alfred Hitchcock and Howard Hawks further solidified his status as a cinematic icon. Grant's ability to navigate various genres made him a beloved figure, and his performances often combined sophistication with a touch of humor. Despite his immense success, Cary Grant surprised many by retiring from acting in 1966 after the release of his last film, Walk, Don't Run. 
he cited a desire for a more private life and the toll of constant public scrutiny as reasons for his decision to step away from the limelight. Following his retirement, he focused on spending time with family and pursuing personal interests. Cary Grant passed away on November 29, 1986, at the age of 82 from a heart attack. His timeless appeal and exceptional talent continue to influence actors and enchant audiences today. Grant's legacy as a versatile performer remains unmatched in the annals of film history, and he is often remembered as a symbol of classic Hollywood elegance and charisma. Audrey Hepburn Audrey Hepburn, born on May 4, 1929 in Brussels, Belgium, is celebrated as one of the most iconic actresses in film history. With her distinctive style, grace, and talent, Hepburn captivated audiences and became a symbol of elegance and sophistication. Her early life was marked by hardship during World War II, which instilled in her a deep sense of empathy and compassion that would shape her later humanitarian efforts. Hepburn's film career took off in the early 1950s, with her breakout role in Roman Holiday, 1953, for which she won an Academy Award for Best Actress. Her charming portrayal of a runaway princess captured the hearts of audiences worldwide. Throughout her career, Hepburn starred in a series of beloved films, including Breakfast at Tiffany's, 1961, My Fair Lady, 1964, and Sabrina, 1954 showcasing her versatility and ability to navigate both comedic and dramatic roles. Beyond her remarkable film career, Hepburn was also a dedicated humanitarian. In the late 1980s, she became a goodwill ambassador for UNICEF, using her platform to advocate for the rights of children and alleviate suffering in war-torn regions. Her passion for humanitarian work was deeply rooted, and she traveled extensively to promote awareness and support for those in need. Audrey Hepburn passed away on January 20, 1993, at the age of 63 due to colon cancer. Her legacy endures not only through her timeless performances on screen, but also through her unwavering commitment to humanitarian causes. Hepburn remains a beloved figure, inspiring generations with her talent, compassion, and grace, making her an enduring icon in both film and philanthropy. As we reflect on the remarkable journeys of these celebrities who left fame behind, it's clear that each story is unique, filled with personal choices that shaped their lives beyond the spotlight. Whether they pursued new passions, focused on family, or dedicated themselves to meaningful causes, these individuals remind us that there's much more to life than fame and fortune. What are your thoughts on these journeys? Do you believe that stepping away from the limelight can lead to greater fulfillment? We would love to hear your opinions in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Your support means the world to us. Don't forget to subscribe to The Famous People for more captivating stories and insights into the lives of your favorite stars. Thank you for watching.